ahead, here is Rob Ellis with the check of our forecast. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Now, here's where we were today. We were in the upper 40s to near 50. I want to put that in a little perspective for you. So let's go to this graphic that I'm going to have for you. That's a nice big curve. I know you don't like graphs, but let me show you why. We're at the, the lowest point of that curve. We're at the coldest part of the year. Through about January 20th or so, uh, our average high is right around 31 degrees. It doesn't move very much between now and then. And then very, very slowly, we start that climb as we approach the peak of the curve, which is in July. Wouldn't it be nice if it were 85 degrees? Now, when we get to spring, the first day of spring, which is March, uh, March 21st, we're at 49 degrees. That is going to be our forecast high for tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to feel like the first day of spring and we're going to have plenty of sunshine. Now we've cooled the temperatures down. Keep in mind the average high 31 degrees. We're still at 35 and 37. Some locations have gotten a little bit cooler. We do have clear skies, so that sometimes allows the temperatures to drop on a night like this when the winds are relatively light. We do have some winds that have picked up a little bit and thankfully this system has moved out of here. But look what's back behind this. A lot of clear skies. I'll show you future cast over night through tomorrow, nothing. There's nothing going on. Your day is almost wall to wall sunshine, although we may get a couple of clouds to develop during the afternoon. Now let's get into Sunday because things start to change. Once we get through about midday Sunday, we'll have a couple of clouds uh, moving in, but I think we'll see some of these clouds start to thicken up as we get through the second half of the day, and it's all in anticipation of this next system. This is going to be the big weather changer. Now it will start Monday morning. Your Monday morning commute, if you're headed back to work, we do expect to see some rain showers behind that some really cold air is going to move in. Most of that rain will be out of here by the afternoon commute and you notice we try to clear things out, but behind this much, much colder air is in place. So the 49 tomorrow and by the way, the 43 for Sunday with mostly cloudy skies is going to be pretty nice. I think it'll be in the 40s still, but dropping as we get into the Bears game and we do expect some clouds to be there as well. A little bit breezy at times as well, uh, but we'll still have that system to get us to 52 before that system system arrives on Monday and then the temperatures drop. We expect those temperatures to drop not just in the daytime highs, but also in those overnight lows. So when you look at the seven day forecast, it's breezy on Tuesday because all of that colder air, more January like air mm. is moving back in Erica. All right, we'll embrace this weekend while we oh, can. Yeah.